Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CSTM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a very solid move. I can't imagine anybody sitting around and saying, no, today wasn't a good move. Everybody would agree, good move. But that does lead into the question, is there any sort of true power behind this movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single point. And that level is right here at $5.95. Why is $5.95 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly strong, it's not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 595. Any sort of closes below that level or worse that if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting in the price right back to within this range where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or as let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? So even after a drastic pullback like that, you'd have a set of lows there and the previous set of lows would be down there. You picture each of these as stair steps. Well, hey, you still have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction and that's the name of the game. That's what you wanna see going forward. So 590, five definitely that important area of support uh, because that's what's really showing whether or not the price is making progress. Now, ideally speaking, if you say, Clay, what would make this chart look the best? If the price can stay up above $6.20, that would be a best case scenario. But if the price drops below it, it's not like everything's totally ruined or anything uh, because for the reasons we've already discussed, 595 is what I would consider that muscled area of support. Now, what about areas of resistance? If this upward move is gonna continue, where are some of these next key battlegrounds at? So let's map out some of these. And looking back here through the history of the chart, let's see, nope, already broke that one. Looking like the next key overall one, I would call right up here at about $6.90. So $6.90, uh, next key level to break through. All in all though, as long as the price keeps on building these higher bases, long-term chart will take care of itself. So no doubt about it, very nice day today. Let's see just how far the bulls can build this and take advantage of the momentum. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get ac access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.